Dream mo maging entrepreneur pero employed ka ngayon? Maraming full-time na empleyado ang may desire sa heart nila na one day, makikilala din sila na isang full-pledged entrepreneur. Are you one of them? Explore natin yan. Tuwing dumadaan si boss or kapag bumibisita ang mga owners ng kumpanya, may halong paghanga ka sa kanila pero may lungkot ka din sa puso mo. Alam mo kasing tumatakbo ang panahon at nauubos ang oras mo sa work, at deep in your heart, gusto mong maging tulad din nila, pero hindi mo alam kung papaano. Wala kang idea kung ano ang dapat mong gawin. Saan ka nga ba magsisimula? Kulang ang puhunan? German sa ang language ng business? Wala kang experience dito? At parang solo flight ka sa idea mo na magiging negosyante ka rin someday. Lagi kang inaasar na mataas masyadong pangarap mo. At sinasabiyang risky yan, so mag-work ka na lang dahil safe and secure ang kinsenas katapusan mo. So, paano nga ba? Ang short answer natin sa tanong na yan ay tapang at karunungan. At ang good news, hindi mo kailangan ng malaking kapital to start. Basta meron kang courage, then pwede mong simulan ang self-education mo sa pagiging negosyante. Taken seriously, In 1 to 2 years lang ay may malaking impact na magaganap sa transformation mo from employee to entrepreneur identity. Bakit dapat kang maging entrepreneur? Bago tayo mag-deep dive sa mga paraan kung paano mag-transition from employee to entrepreneur, mabuting maliwanagan din tayo bakit nga ba maganda ang maging isang entrepreneur. Ang pinaka-powerful na attraction natin sa mga entrepreneurs ay ang greater degree ng kakayahan nilang mag-exercise ng freedom of time at power of choice. Yan ang meron sila na wala ang almost all employed or self-employed people. For example, bakit ba natin gustong magnegosyo? Para kumita ng passive income, hindi lang sa isa kundi sa multiple sources dapat. Pero bakit ba natin gusto ng multiple streams of passive income? Para magkaroon ka ng freedom of time, so pwede kang mag-work kung gusto mo at wag kang mag-work kung ayaw mo. At kung may lumalaki kang discretionary income, may power of choice ka para sa mas magandang buhay. So hindi naman talaga yung work ang ayaw natin. Yung mawalan tayo ng freedom of power sa ating mga choices ang mas malalim na issue. Yun talaga ang may kurot sa puso ng mga employees, lalo na yung mga may strong desire para maging entrepreneurs. Bakit mas creative at courageous sa mga entrepreneurs? Kasi kaya nilang mag-exercise ng kanilang freedom of time at power of choice. Kung mag-fail, may choice to do it again differently next time. In essence, ang negosyo ay mga platforms or vehicles of abundance lamang para ang mga entrepreneurs ay magkaroon ng mas lumalaking freedom of time at power of choice. This way, you have the freedom and the power to live your life based on your purpose and passion, on what truly really matters to you the most. So yung freedom at yung power ang talagang gusto natin. And business is the means to that desired end. Tamang panahon para simulan ang exit strategy. So bilang empleyado, pumasok ka sa isang social contract na ipagpapalit mo ang portion of your freedom para sa economic rewards. In short, you trade your time for money, ipinagpapalit mo ang portion of your freedom which is the time para magkaroon ka ng portion of power which is the money. Again, hindi masama ang mag-work dahil good yun for the short term. Pero kung trade mo ang mahigit 40 years of your time, then mahirap nang mabawi yon para sa maraming tao. So kung bata ka pa, may advice sa'yo si Robert Kiyosaki. When you are young, work to learn, not to earn. But what if you recently retired? Well, may konting puhunan ka for sure, pero kung hindi ka nakapag-build ng education and experience in the business while working ka in the past, then mataas ang risk na malugi at maubos ang iyong puhunan. However, may mga self-directed learning platforms at coaching communities para ma-minimize mo ang risk 
na madrain ang capital mo na wala ka pang traction for success. So going back to those employed pa, may at least tatlong possible circumstances na pwedeng indicators kung panahon na para i-explore mo at simulan na ang iyong entrepreneurial journey. At ito yung mga strong circumstantial indicators na panahon na to exit employment. So number one, hindi na sapat ang kita mo. So currently employed ka at barely enough ang income mo para sa personal o family needs sa tigit sa lahat, you've been dreaming of starting a business at eventually maka-exit ka sa employment. So number two, undervalued ka na sa work. So currently employed ka at sapat naman ang income somehow, pero disappointed ka na talaga sa workplace dahil alam mong undervalued or underappreciated ang efforts mo at biktima ka ng paulit-ulit na office politics at ang pagninegosyo ay nakikita mong may better returns sa capabilities and experiences mo. And lastly, wala ng work excitement. So currently employed ka at maganda naman ang performance track record mo sa trabaho and maganda rin naman ang income mo pero wala nang challenge at medyo boring na sa'yo ang work kaya may dream ka na mag-start ng business at makapag-exit sa employment para malaya kang ipursue ang gusto mong gawin at itest ang sarili mong kakayahan. Marami pang ibang possible reasons kung bakit dapat mag-transition ka na from employee to entrepreneur pero may mga challenges ka dapat i-acknowledge at dapat ma-overcome. At kung mapaghahandaan mo ang mga ito, then makaka-exit ka gracefully sa employment with less risk. Pwede rin may early victories and successes ka na bago ka pa mag-tender ng resignation letter mo. So, ano-ano nga ba yung mga top roadblocks that prevents employees to start out immediately? So, number one, wala kang starting capital. Two, wala kang eight hours a week free time. Three, wala kang basic education sa business. Four, wala kang mentor, coach, or guide. Five, wala kang support community. Six, wala kang business na pagsisimulan. Kung ni isa man lang dito ay hindi na challenge para sa'yo, then go ahead and start a business na. Pwede ka nang mag-resign sa work. Pero kung may isa man lang sa mga ito na challenge pa rin for you at the moment, then do not resign or leave your work yet. Pwede mong paghandaan ng mga ito while working full-time within a span of 1 to 2 years at least or even shorter than a year pa. Bilang isang entrepreneur, ang most proven solutions natin sa mga roadblocks na ito ay courage at self-education. Tulad ng short answer natin earlier, tapang at karunungan para makaangat ka from employee to entrepreneur identity. Parehong delikado ang may tapang pero walang dunong, maging ang may dunong pero walang tapang. Sabi nga rin ni Warren Buffett, the greatest investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you earn. So habang working ka pa full-time, then mag-invest ka na sa self-education mo about business part-time within 1 to 2 years. Also, napakalaking tulong na may circle of influence ka na tulad mo ay nasa journey towards entrepreneurship din sila. Dito ka makakabarrow ng strength at makakapag-develop ng support mechanism mo during tough and difficult times. So at the very least, ito ang mga strategic actions and areas of involvement mo para sa transformational journey and transition mo from employee to entrepreneur. Number one, invest in business self-education. Number two, get real entrepreneurs as mentors. Three, Get into business for experience. Four, find business community for support. Five, learn ways to raise capital. My compounding effect ang developments mo sa five areas na ito towards becoming an entrepreneur. So invest your focused attention, time, and efforts carefully. Ang mga ito ang pinaka-importanting currency mo at the stage of the journey. Consider mo as entrepreneurial seeds ang bawat areas na to 
plant them into your heart and mind at siguradong may aanihin ka in one to two years time. Kaya kung dream mo maging entrepreneur pero empleyado ka ngayon, start looking for a coaching community and self-directed learning at mag-invest ka ng attention, time, and effort consistently. Let's face it, marami ang namuhuna ng malaking pera at mahabang panahon sa kanilang college degree para lang ma-qualify sa minimum wage job after 4 years, ba? Diba? Kung may entrepreneurial spirit ka, masasabi mong hindi yata cool na minimum wage lang ang kapalit ng ipinuhuna ng marami for 4 years. Mas cool pa ang matutunan mo ang language of business at magiging isang entrepreneur ka. Sa totoo lang, Mahaba na ang 4 years para sa learning stage for business. You can become a millionaire in 2 years or less kung magiging serious ka talaga. So, if you're interested na mag-explore ng self-education, real-life business experience at my coaching community support, i-check mo din ang Angat Ka na platform for employees to become entrepreneurs na offer natin. There is a link to learn more. So share this blog post sa mga kaibigan mong may mga pangarap din maging proactive entrepreneur na tulad mo. Enroll in our business school that turns employees to entrepreneurs. Angat ka! Education plus experience plus community. An entrepreneurship gateway platform that enables ordinary people to build capital for passive income projects through education, community, and internship programs.